good money. I am in um, Chinguere area. This is where I am. Uh, this road, you know, this road, this road joins into this road joins into a uh, Great uh, North Road. Okay, this is the road that is used going to the cemetery. If you look up there. That is the, that is the cemetery. And the people who are who are going to the graveyard, they actually use this same road to the cemetery. But also this road is also uh, the compound uh, this side. It is a very good road as you can see. And the, not a very old road. This road was made recently. It's not an old road, road, a very good road. If you look at it, the infrastructure, a very good infrastructure indeed. But let's try going that side and see what's there. was made you know costing taxpayers money a lot of money look at it a very good road very good one the cemetery there the cemetery there connecting the people uh, the compounds the other side and people going into the grave let's go So, I just want to show you, like I've said, the road is very good. This is a very good road and it's a new road. This is not an, a very old road. I don't think it's even five years old. It's a very good road. Okay? Let's go over there and see one of my issues. I want to show you some of uh, my issues uh, on this road. An infrastructure which was built you know using millions of of kwacha you know now just starting from there look you see just starting from here look okay here we start with the the chi this is chingwere dump site just look at that look at the garbage which is literally being thrown literally being thrown on the road Look at this. This garbage is being thrown right on the road. Right on the road. Look. You see? You see how the road is remaining? How, is, how the, the, the people are bringing their garbage and dumping it right on the road. Eh? If you look at here, look. You look back, you see the road where it is starting there? Very okay. But starting from here, People are dumping things right on the road. Across there, across there where you are seeing that bush, that is supposed to be a cemetery. That is supposed to be a cemetery. Eh? Look, honestly, honestly, trucks are coming to throw things right on the road. A very expensive road. Third road, look. Here it is, look. Eh? Look, cars can't pass. Those cars now, they are waiting for me to pass because it's only one way. You know? It's terrible. Eh? Let's go the other side. Look, honestly, honestly, how can we say? I mean, look, look at this, this garbage. Look at the, that is the cemetery there. Have you seen the tombstones? There are the tombstones and people are throwing things right on the road. When you open the door, the car is full of flies. Eh? Flies like that. Hmm?
Look at that. Look, the whole road is being covered. Half of the road, look, what we are remaining with. Honestly. This is in Lusaka, the capital city of our country. And not too far from, you know, the CBD. Look, two cars can't pass. I have to get into the into this garbage for this truck to pass. Ah, Aliens have a good jam on your problem. Aliens have a good jam on your account. A chubby politician in Kudjam. Look at this. Look at this. Hmm? Trucks are dumping things right on the road. Hmm? Hmm? Across here, this is a graveyard. Look. Hmm? Mabuelo Taya? Eh? Mata Kudala? Mata Irakud? Oh, Mata Irakud, Jai. Nafuna Kukutini Karipenat. Ah, and I'm way. Mabuelo Taya, Onan. Eh? Look. Look at this. Right on the road. Look at this. Hmm? Right on the road. Across. It's a graveyard. Hmm? And if you look over there, you see there is a, the, the, our hero stadium. Eh? Right across there, hero stadium. Eh? You see the hero stadium there. Eh? Hmm? Look. Look at this road. Look what this is. A road that cost millions of kwachas, millions of dollars to be built. Hmm? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> 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 This is a new road, a new road, not a road that is old. Eh? Hmm? Look at this. Show this side. Look, look. I want people to see. So show properly the camera on the road. Look. And as you get, as you move on, you know, the dump site starts and you see these piles. Look. And then look now. The smoke, the pollution around here. Hmm? You can even have your car bent. Look at this. Hmm? Hmm? Look, it's no longer two lane. This road is very wide, but you know, you can't pass, two vehicles can't pass, one has to stop. Hmm? And people are still passing, as you can see. People are, are crossing, are walking along this road. Look at the danger that people are being exposed to. Can you believe this? Can you just imagine this?
and it's ever burning. There is that truck coming. I have to stop because we can't pass. The two of us can't pass, so I have to get out of the road to allow the truck to pass. It's coming to dump. Gosh. Let's get out. Let's just walk around, go around here. So you see, all this, all this is in the tarmac. There is no road. The, the whole tarmac has been covered by this. Yeah? Honest Zambians. Yeah? This is the capital city. Just a few kilometers, I don't know, it might just be about 20 kilometers from the CBD. And we have this kind of situation. Talk about diseases. Yeah? Talk about diseases with this kind of environment. Because where we are going, look, there are houses there. Just there. This side, there are houses. This side, there are houses. In between, of course, we have the cemetery. But look at this garden. What is going on? These are some of the issues that the council is supposed to look into. What we are seeing here, this is negligence. This is serious negligence. I am not a person that wants to start, um, you know, uh, casting aspersions on uh, previous leaders. I just want you to see this. And for those who are in the city council, I think they can, they can, you can make their own, your own judgment. You cannot, you, you can make your own judgment. Yeah? It, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah? This. Yeah? Look at that. This is serious business. We need to sort out this. We need to sort out this, this situation. We need to sort out this, uh, this situation because, I mean, from my point of view, what you are seeing, some of you might be seeing garbage, but what I'm seeing for me, this is energy. This is energy. If you transform this, you can generate, you can generate electricity out of this. You can generate electricity out of this. Out of this, you can generate manure, you know, that can be used to grow that can be used to grow crops but somewhere somehow people don't want to apply themselves people don't want to apply themselves those who are claiming to have worked in the city council what do they have to say about this what do they have to say about this anyway let's go let's go let's go the other side truck which has just come from dumping that is a city council truck which has just come which just came to dump uh, garbage in this environment let's go ah, flies my friend Ooh. They're all over. Yep. Eh. And then don't talk about the smell. Don't talk about the smell. If you are that person that is sensitive to smell around here, you can drop dead just by the smell. You can drop dead. Hmm? Look, another truck is there. They are from dumping. Look at that. Here the road is not even seen. You can look. 
we are the road now we are moving out the tarmac has remained this side mm -hmm. the tarmac is all covered look at this here there is even no tarmac look there is no tarmac there no tarmac and yet there was a tarmac here look they doing look look can you believe this hmm? there is another track it's a very busy dump site and poor children have you seen those poor children there scavenging they have found something yeah hmm? Mm -hmm. And here is a guest house. Oh, let's don't show the guest house. Leave it. <laughs> Look. Show the dump site now. This side, you see. Mm -hmm. Think of these people who are living there, these homes. Think, look at these children. Okay. Yeah. Think of these children here. Look, how are they living? How are people around this area living? Eh? Hmm? Honestly, Mulungoanga. Look, these are people living just next to this, to this dump site. Look at that. I've seen, I've seen that the city council. When I came here, when I came here, I found, um, you know, the council. I think let's show that. Let's show that that thing. I found the. Uh, yes, boss. So I found um, some city council workers here, and they told me that they are removing the garbage that is on the road. I was told that they want to make sure that they remove they remove the garbage on the road. But if you think of it, if you see, the tarmac is damaged. The tarmac is damaged. And my question is, where were the council? Don't move. Where were the council? Where was the city council to allow such a situation? I am sure around here we have uh, the councillors and of course my brother Mao Samba was the mayor. 
what were they doing to allow such a situation? From my point of view, this is serious negligence. Negligence that should not be tolerated. The council workers who were here, those who are in management, they told me they need resources to sort out this problem. And for sure, to sort out these problems, a lot of resources is required so that this problem can be sorted out. But my point is, my main issue in terms of leadership, why should the leadership allow this? This has happened because leadership went to sleep. If the leadership is not sleeping, this would not happen. They would have a better solution than what we have here. So, from my point of view, from my point of view, as one person that is running for mayor, I will not tolerate this. This will not happen. This has to change. We need to sort out this. If you vote for me as mayor, I can, be rest, I can rest assure you that I will sort out such problems. This is not the only problem we have in Lusaka. There are so many other problems where there is negligence, where money has been wasted to put up an infrastructure such as this road, and yet it is messed up due to negligence. We need to wake people of Lusaka. We cannot be living like this. In this modern age, technological age, and we have this, this is not acceptable. Vote for me as mayor, and you'll see what I'll do, how I'll change things. Thank you very much for, for now. Thank you.